my thoughts But the time is still moving I tried stopping it But it's still moving Time and ties wait for no man Move by that, let it be your slogan I'm motivated by SAC, powered by JP Morgan Who will be here in a quick, and uh, very important And Kasem Muyanka as the second pass, we keep thinking of who we could have been. As the many pass, we keep thinking of what they'll in the Hello, lovely viewers. Good afternoon once again. You are watching Alberto Hossi, as you usually do, we interview the aspirant for various positions on different campuses. Today, we are here at the University of Education, really back on the campus, and we are in the house of one elegant young guy named. I will not mention it. Uh, we will let him mention his name. And I'm here with Manco presenter. Linda Berman. This afternoon, without wasting much time, um, we will just go straight to this refined gentleman and ask him why he is here with us. Good afternoon, sir. Good afternoon. Please, my viewers would like to know your name and the reason why we met here this afternoon. Uh, I am Clinton Samuel Boati. Okay. I'm aspirant for the SRC presidency. We are met here this afternoon for us to discuss the vision I have for the school, uh, call to it, what we want to do to make students' life uh, okay on campus. Okay, all right, all right. So that means you are aspiring for SLC president? Yes, I am. Wow, that is so great. That is a great chair. Okay, um, over the past years, there's been failure upon failure, disappointment upon disappointment. Um, based on the predecessors in terms of the SLC president. Now, what makes you so unique? What makes you so distinguished from these presidents? Uh, what makes me unique from the other presidents we have gotten? I understand that all of them that have contested for the position and won and ruled and left all had certain qualities that made them to be voted for. But what makes me unique is the experience I am bringing on board unique experience of uh, being a SRC executive at Wesley College before oh. I've been SRC president for Wright Media College. I have been the uh, keynote speaker for ITEC 2017 at, uh, at India. Wow. I've also led about 66,000 teachers to demand their salary arrears from government and out of the 66,000 teachers uh, I am it is on record that 44,075 have been paid out of our engagement with government. So this is the experience I bring on board. Having served in USAC and NUCS, these are experiences I think. Is it 660 or 66,000? 66,000 teachers wow. who completed school for wow. 2013 coming. 66,000 teachers, yes. Professional wow. teachers from the 38 colleges of our, uh, of our country. Then that means, that mean, this afternoon we have a prodigy in the house, seriously, mm -hmm. because it is a great It is very success. serious. It is a great... 66,000. Wow. 66, and uh, what is the capacity of this institution? Mm -hmm. Do you know? Uh, we are over 10,000. 10,000, yes. 10,000, 66,000. So it's even less than 66. Yes. So it means you can lead them. We can do that. Really? Collectively, we can, we can do wow. that. <laughs> we have wow. built the capacity over the years to be able to handle the activities of this house. Okay, okay, okay. Um, please, um, I heard this rumor when, when you came on campus that you are a great litigator. How true is that? <laughs> <laughs> well, I am not a litigator, okay. I am an activist, activist coupled right. with uh, somebody who has respect for due process. Okay. But aside being trained as a teacher <coughs> who has been taught to respect law and order, I am also an activist who believes that when laws and order is not giving us the needed resource, mm -hmm. we must choose the offensive to be able to demand our rights and uh, privileges. You could see that uh, last year, after the elections, I went to court uh, to, for an explanation on why a group of students, a large number of our students were disenfranchised. Okay. Uh, for the sole reason that they do not have students' ID card, which in fact the school did not provide for them. And so I went to court for the court to explain to us whether uh, the court or the school. The court should explain because mm -hmm. it is the court that interprets the laws. So the court should interpret mm -hmm. as to why 
the school should take such an entrenched position. And I want to tell you that we went to court not because I am a litigator, mm -hmm. but I went to court because I am somebody who respects due process okay. and respects the rule of law. Wow. 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 That's so interesting. <laughs> so meaning you are not a litigator, but rather an activist. Yeah, I'm an activist. Okay, okay. An so, assertive activist. Wow, assertive. <laughs> that is so great. So you being an assertive activist, how can that help in your administration if you are voted in as a um, the SRC president? Well, this same quality has lived with me over 20 something years. 20 something? Yes. So, what is that something? I am the something. <laughs> <laughs> that is about 20. Okay. About 20 yes. Yes. Okay. It is these same qualities that helped me to uh, voice out the needs of students at Wesley College. Okay. It is the same quality that helped me to be able to demand salary arrears for over 44,000 teachers out of 66,000. And so I believe that with these same qualities, they mm -hmm. have not left me. You will be able to put them to use so that students benefit from it. Okay. Okay. We are talking about quality, quality, quality. So can you be specific about the, the, the numerous of qualities in you that uh, a student of UWK Cortex should vote for you based on that quality? Uh, the first one is I am somebody who respects law and order. Mm -hmm. And then I am also a very good I'm a very humble man, uh, looking from where I come from as a person. What most people don't know about me is that uh, at SHS2, my parents passed on. Oh. And so I took care of myself from SHS2. Sorry, now. sorry, sorry, sorry. So <laughs> I actually, I have actually lived on the streets. Uh, so you're a street guy? I'm a street guy. Wow. So I have, I have well experienced. I have, puzzle, right? I have hawked water. Oh, my God. <laughs> I have sold kinky. I've Kai. been elite. Kai. From La Paz to Alaji Tabora. Oh. I have done my that God. for one year. <laughs> I have sold uh, fried rice mm -hmm. at Alaji Tabora. Then I think Adam's kitchen should come and learn from me. <laughs> 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 I have done all these jobs uh, before. And uh, I, I'm sure that this. The processes that are okay. going through. So you are, you are, let me say, I'm an entrepreneur. Exactly so. Okay. Very good. Okay. So I'm <laughs> that is. Yes, that is. Yeah. Yes, yes, yes. Okay, um, please, can you voice out your intention, like what you have in mind for coming to buy for the SRC position? Yes, I am running for presidency mm -hmm. once again okay. uh, because. There are certain things I would want us to do as a people. Three things I am considering. The first one is education. The second is security. And the third one is entertainment. Briefly on security. Mm -hmm. Last year when I ran for presidency, I campaigned on the fact that we need security. We need to boost our security apparatus. And so I suggested us having, as part of our security measures, we should have a police post on campus. Letters have already been sent to Asante Regional Police Command. Okay. And what they demand from us is to give them a place where their men will be lodged when they come for their patrol in the night. What actually is the reality is that currently, you know the laws of Ghana do not give our private security men the authority to prosecute a person when yeah. they catch him. Exactly. Yeah. And so what happens is that when we catch the thief and we send it to them, mm -hmm. they will beat the thief and leave the thief, the person will go and come back. Mm -hmm. But when we have a security post, a police post on campus, yes. when we catch the thief, we hand the thief over to the uh, government uh, yes. police on person campus. on campus mm -hmm. who take home with the yeah. mantle because they are empowered to deal yeah. with the issues. Okay. As part of our security measures as well, we are also looking at how we'll be able to put our clinic into a 24-hour use and to also provide us with weekend services. Yeah, okay. I didn't know that was important until last two Saturdays, around 10.45 there about PM I or met, AM? PM. Okay. I met after my usual one-on-one -on -one, uh, okay. campaign. I met uh, some thieves around the catering department when we were descending from my family. After sustaining an injury and receiving some four dirty slaps. Oh, four wow. dirty slaps. I bet you. The first slap Left I Left or right? I received them. Oh, sorry. <laughs> sorry. It was it was wow. it was it was an awful experience. Sorry. 
I want to be the last person to undergo that. Okay. If anybody will go, will undergo it again, mm -hmm. then I should be the last person. And that is why I am suggesting that we boost our security measures on campus. Okay. In the pool of blood, mm -hmm. I went to the school clinic, mm -hmm. and then the place was locked. Wow. No one is to be found. No one was there because they have closed. Mm -hmm. This is an institution that has over 10,000 students. Mm -hmm. Emergency can happen. Yes, yes. What if I had gotten the thieves placed the knife at my neck? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. The nearer hospital to our school is SD Hospital at Padasu. And it is far from here. Yes. If you are an asthmatic patient and you get crisis, by the time you get to SD, oh. if wow. God is not on your side, you have been gone. And so I am advocating that we come on board collectively, engage management, uh, to be able to put that facility into a 24-hour use, and then to also give us weekend services. And as part of the security measures also, I am talking on, you see, when you are crossing from the main gate to yeah. the other part to pick your ve vehicle to a yeah. door, where the echo bank is or no, the the main gate the main where gate. we have the security post. Okay, okay, okay. okay. Yes, that is opposite the Echo Bank. Yes. Okay, yes, yeah, Echo yeah, Bank, yeah, opposite yeah, yeah. Echo Bank. When you are crossing, mm -hmm. we people who are able mm -hmm. normally will have to run before you cross of the course, road. So let's consider a pregnant woman who is a student with a daughter or son at his back okay. crossing that road. Mm -hmm. uh, with the least mistake, she could be knocked. Mm -hmm. Let's consider our brothers and sisters in wheelchairs yes. who cannot run, but they will have to use the wheelchair to cross the road. These are some of the things we have sat down to analyze, and that is why I am advocating that I become president of the school. Okay. Hopefully, we will engage roads and highways authority. Wow. We have already engaged them, and the explanations they gave us was that as for a flyover, mm -hmm. they will not be able to provide it okay. because. There is no big market or a very big clinic around okay. that will also use the facility. Yes. And so they cannot provide a flyover. Then there was the need for traffic lights okay. and then consideration of a speed ramp. Okay. And then they told me also that from IPT, mm -hmm. that junction, yes. to our gate, it's not long enough to have a traffic light at the place because we already have yeah. Uh, run about sort of yeah, yeah. at the place and so we will be considering a speed ramps okay. and the speed ramp we cannot as SRC mm -hmm. go there and then go and fix a speed ramp the roads and highway authority will have to give us oh, yeah. the go ahead yeah. that is why i said i am law abiding okay. but i also want to assure students that when we use all due processes and their rights are not being met okay. their privileges are not given them we will go on the offensive we would Explore all avenues, use all tools available to us. Ah, okay. To fix. Mr. Clinton, uh, all right, let, I'm not cutting you short. You have said enough, but uh, if my memory serves me right, uh, over the years, I think all the, the, the those who have uh, fight for the presidency, I think from Andy, uh, Edmond, Kodure Champon, uh, Clifford, and now you are the who, who is the current president? Honorable Charles. Honorable Charles. His Charles. Excellency Charles. Yes. Very now, all of them, they have sweet, sweet words. Now, when I was listening to your, 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 your words, you see, I'm touched. <laughs> but you see, how to accomplish it after the student voting for you? That is the issue. Yeah. So now, how, now I'm a student, let's assume that I'm a student, mm -hmm. right? And you have, you have, in fact, I'm impressed. If I, if I were to be a lady, I would have fallen for you. Oh my <laughs> goodness. <laughs> <laughs> right, so now I'm a student, right? So how am I, am I, am I like, how, how, how should I be sure that whatever you have said right now, you'll be able to accomplish it? Because all of them, they said some of them, they, 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 they even job more than the way you are jobbing. Mm -hmm. I hope you get, I'm using the word job because all of them, they said the same thing, but they, they were not able to accomplish any of them. Mm -hmm. I hope you get it. Yes. So how, how are you going to do it? How, uh, will, will you be able to do what you are saying? Yes, we'll be able to do it collectively. It mm -hmm. will not be Clinton alone. Okay. It will be a collective effort. Mm -hmm. Well, we have data on the past, and we will not have data on the future, but we can use the past data to predict what will happen in the future. Okay. When, uh, as part of my track records, mm -hmm. when I was given as a financial secretary, not the president, 
my accomplishments are mm -hmm. there for students to inquire about me. Okay. In the history of the 38 colleges of education, mm -hmm. it was Wesley College that received, that was able to make sure that our students received their allowances mm -hmm. within three months of being admitted into the school. Okay. And the course was led by you and my executives. You could, the records are there. When I had the opportunity to lead students at TAG, the records are there. When I led the 66,000 teachers, the records are there. And so I am not somebody who will tell you what I cannot do. That is why I have limited myself to the things I think we have power over that we can do. And that is why I think they should, they should try, try, try me also and see. I may not be able to... All right. Uh, lovely boys, you are watching Alberto Hot Seat. Honorable Clinton said you should try him and see <laughs> him. Yes. He too will be able to do the work. All right, let's go. Linda, uh, I think you wanted to ask him something. Yes, right. yes. Uh, please, um, you are a level 300 student, right? Yes, I'm a level 300 student. So that means next year or next semester, you're going for internship. Yes, I'll be on So how, how would that be? Will it be possible for you to manage your administration role? Yes, I'll be able. The issue is that it is a fact I'll go on intention. Okay. It is part of the school's policy. Mm -hmm. I am not exempted from it at all. But I have gotten an experience of intention from the College of Education. Okay. Okay. We call it out program. Okay. But here it has been magnified yeah. as intention. intention. But you see, when we are analyzing this intention thing, we have to be very objective with it. Okay. In the whole 24 hours that you go on intention for a day, for example, you will teach for one hour 30 minutes. Mm -hmm. You, the student on internship, the intern, do not go for lectures. Mm -hmm. You don't write quizzes. Mm -hmm. You don't have end of semester exams to write. And so after the one hour 30 minutes lesson you have with the class, mm -hmm. I will be doing my internship at Tan also here, uh, closer at Anglican, mm -hmm. closer the school. Okay. I am also a, a resident on campus. I live in Kumasi as well. I am closer to the school than any other person may think that I am far from the school. Okay. After the one hour, 30 minutes teaching in the school, the rest of the day is for the office and then student activities. Let's consider somebody who is a continuing student on campus, who has on average three hours for lectures. The person will be thinking about missing, mm -hmm. will be thinking about lectures to attend, mm -hmm. assignments, quizzes, and then the last of it is end of semester examination. Yes. Considering me a student on internship and the one on campus, who has more time? Okay. And that is why I am saying that, uh, well, it may be possible that we'll be able to blend the two. Uh, more to the point that I have already gone through such a process before. And so I'll be able to blend the two. And I am passionate about the welfare of students. So we will do it. Okay, uh, Linda, uh, yeah. now let's assume you are students. Okay. Right? Will you vote for him? Well, based on what um, he has said already, he has, he has really convinced me, he has enlightened <laughs> me a lot, seriously. All right, all right. All and right. if that is truly what he's going to do, then oh, he got my vote, seriously. Really? Yes. All right, so l let, me, let me ask you this. I have, I have heard some rumors that you are quick tempered. What do you have to say about that? People say Clinton is quick tempered, he doesn't respect people, he's arrogant. What, what do you have to say about that? Well, it is my personality that will maybe portray that. Mm -hmm. But inwardly, the people who really know me, okay. uh, you know, I am the individual. What people don't know is I'm the individual who cries very easily. <laughs> yeah, you cry? Yeah, I cry very really? easily. Okay, you cry, let me see. Oh, come on. <laughs> <laughs> you see, I cry very wow. easily. Because when I even go to church and they uh, are having worship, uh, I, I, I cry. Oh, you cry? I, yes, I Is cry. it you and cry so, because you are sad or because of the worship? No, I, I cry because uh, of what I have gone through as a person okay. and the experiences I have gathered through the process. Okay. Okay. And in fact, to be very fair and frank, if we are looking for people to vie for us as a presidency, if we are using so social status mm -hmm. to judge, I might not have qualified. Okay. It is just by the grace of God. Yes, by the grace. Okay. Yes, by the so grace of God. So come to my question. So I am not arrogant. Mm -hmm. I am a very sober individual, very mm -hmm. humble. Uh, people who are closer to me will be able to attest to the fact. I am also not quick-tempered. Okay. 
Okay. In fact, uh, naturally, I am somebody who do not talk too much. I okay. don't talk. I am the quiet type. Mm. And so sometimes people think that when they are talking with me and I am not talking, I'm angry or something. Mm -hmm. But I am just like that. That is how God has created me. Wow. I am not angry. All right. Angry. Lovely boys, you are watching Elberto Gossip. All right. Honorable Clinton said he is not quick tempered. But that is how he is. That is his nature. Mm -hmm. We have individual background. So uh, the fact that you are talking in his quiet doesn't mean that he's annoyed. All right. So Linda, I think your 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 last question. Oh, actually, it shouldn't be my last question. <laughs> okay. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, now let me take you outside campus. Okay. Uh, maybe or perhaps um, the government has um, has this intention to render the sponsorship. Will you accept it? Uh, the government has seen a political a politi party. Yeah, a, a political party say NPP, very good. We accept the sponsorship. Yes, I would accept the sponsorship from a political party. Mm -hmm. uh, example, the NPP. Oh. And, you know, political parties are institutions that are looking for serious minded and efficient, well experienced people of to course. for them to help them champion their philosophy. Okay. And so if I can attract a political party sponsorship then i think i am experienced enough the political party sees a good in me to sponsor me to win the as a president i will not sit here and lie i would accept it but that will not influence my decision as wow. to fighting for the interest of wow students. wow <laughs> wow linda okay. this is so interesting yes uh, please <laughs> politicians out there honorable clinton said he's capable of utilizing any support you give of to course him. And in fact he's not going to squander your money yes in your sponsorship yes. okay so if you have it in mind to sponsor him come on board mm -hmm. all right so mm -hmm. okay actually my last question okay then. okay so um and let's say maybe you've had the opportunity or the chance to meet the president. What would be your petition? What petition will you bring that to the um, government? Well, if I am able to meet the president of Ghana now, yes, now, uh, or any other person in government, the first thing I'll tackle is to be able to put before him that when students of University of Education, Kumasi Campus, Complete School, government should consider uh, posting them to respective schools. Because we, we lack teachers in Ghana yeah. and we are trained specially to go and teach and by extension for industry. So if government can post students from this institution, it will be one of the best achievements I will ever put across. Secondly also, there are some problems we have in the school that we need more lecture halls, we need more halls of affiliation, where to sleep, more residential areas. I'll put that also before government. And topical will be for government to consider giving us an autonomy. Uh, it will be something I will be glad to talk to government on, to be able to give us autonomy so that we will have our central administrative body here that will take decisions on and on behalf of students. Okay. 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 All right. This is El Bebeto Hot Seat. El Bebeto Hot Seat. Uh, Honorable, thank you very much. All right, without spending much time, would you uh, have any word to say to the student of UWK? Your last few words, uh, why they should vote for you? Yes, and that one words, is really important. Get why they should vote for yeah, you? Yes, within one minute, let's go. Yes. Uh, I'm sure viewers have listened to our interview, and they are well-meaning individuals, well-meaning students, uh, intelligent students. They will be able to decipher between what is a lie and what is achievable. And so I would want to plead with them that they should give me the nod to be able to lead their house. And it is a solemn promise that together we'll be able to achieve this together. All right. Honorable Clinton said, give him the nod. Yes. And you will see what will happen. See? You will see what will happen. Mm -hmm. In fact, I'm the one interviewing him with my co-presenter, Linda. I'm deeply impressed yes. and I'm convinced. <laughs> but what about you? Think about it, okay? All right. So Linda, mm -hmm. so be sincere. Okay. Will, will you vote for him? Oh, actually, hmm. <laughs> just be sincere. Will you vote for him? Team LB, I think we will vote for him. You will vote for him. Yes. All right. So lovely boys. <laughs> uh, this uh, the end of the interview. You are watching Alberto Hossi. Until we meet next time. It's a bye. Yes. Bye.
I'm at heart, but the time is still moving. I tried stopping it, but it's still moving. Time and ties wait for no man. Move by that, let it be your slogan. I'm motivated by SAC, powered by JP Morgan. Who will be here in a quick and hey, very important. And Kasem Muyanka. As the second pass, we keep thinking of who we could